Hello, Internet. Ben here. Don't run away. This isn't an advertisement for Word by Word, uh, but it is related. So in my last video, I uh, it was a trailer. I posted a trailer. Um, the trailer is here. Oh, it's even going to play the noises and everything for you. Beautiful. Um, so here's the problem I was having. Oh, I'm going to fight with myself. Let me just let it, you know, we don't have to let it play out. Okay. I can't make video. That's a bad problem. Uh, for my last game, Mysterious Space, um, I didn't have a trailer at all. Uh, and then someone, some player was like, hey, do you want me to make a trailer for you or something? Um, and so someone just made me a trailer and then I bought them a game on Steam as thanks. Um, <laughs> which was really cool because, again, I was like, yes, thank you because I cannot make video. I don't, I mean, I'm doing this, right? But I don't have any video editing skills. I can't use Windows Movie Maker, whatever. I've never learned to do any of that stuff. Um, unfortunately, nowadays, uh, Steam requires that you have a trailer. So if you're going to publish on Steam, trailer required. They will not let you submit the game to Steam for review until you have uploaded a trailer. That wasn't true before. Um, and I was just, same as before, I was like, well, I'm not going to make a trailer. Right? I didn't do one before until later someone offered. I'm just not going to do it. Nope, couldn't get away with that. Had to make a trailer. So what I did instead, and um, maybe you can, I don't know, I don't know how obvious it is from, from the video. This is in the game. <laughs> the trailer exists in the game. That's what I did. I just coded up a trailer um, scene in, in my game. And again, word by word is made with Play Play Mini, which is this C-sharp framework I've made for making games on top of Mono Game. Mono game. Whoa, can't speak. Um, so check it out. Maybe, I don't know. It lets you make games cool. Yay. Um, so I've got a game state in here called Trailer. <laughs> here it is. Um, and it's basically, I did this like, Quick and dirty. I just copy pasted. Um, I mean, I can show you. Just let me, let me show you a couple things in the game so you can see what I'm talking about. So, right, we have the tune. Um, there was a flashing background. I'll just show you again once it starts. Um, it is a copy paste. Oh, there's going to be lots of. Let me turn all this down. Okay. Um, so, if we do a, a game versus the computer, let's say, we've got this. It's a little intro, right? It's got the same music. We've got the. Stripies, the clouds, the raising thing, word by word. The only difference, right, we were showing the contestants. Of course, this didn't happen. You can see what I did. I just copy-pasted this game state. Again, quick and dirty. Didn't think about it too hard. Copied it all, and then modified from there. Um, I think this is a little appropriate. So some things you might say, it's like, oh, why not reuse some of the logic, right? Like, surely I could abstract something out. I don't want to do that. I think that's a, a case of... Um, false sameness here, right? Um, the trailer hasn't, could totally change. And I, I might do anything to the trailer and it should 0% affect the, um, that uh, contestant intro screen, I think. Yeah, introduce contestants. That's the other one that's a copy paste of. Um, and similarly, I should be able to make changes here and 0% care about supporting the trailer as a result, right? They're completely divorced. Yes, they're doing many same things. I'm not interested in sharing like the timing code, for example. I mean, it's all timed events. At two and a half seconds, we, um, or before two and a half seconds, we're showing player one, and then before five, we're doing two. So all these kinds of timings change. I could have tried to, like, abstract it out or, you know, do something clever. It's like, no, 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 no. I just need to get a trailer to, to, <laughs> right, uh, together for Steam. Um, so I don't know. Okay, let me, let me take, like, a few steps back. Why am I making this video? I just thought it was an interesting solution. Like, if you want to publish a game on Steam and you don't know how to make a trailer, you can program a trailer. Maybe that's what I should have started with, right? Like, you can, you can just do that and time it. So and the other thing, the sneaky thing I did, um, here's a OBS. And again, this stuff is probably really obvious. There's probably some people watching this being like, Ben, you're an idiot. I could have figured this out all by myself, whatever. But I don't know. I, who knows? Um, you can set up keyboard shortcuts in OBS to say, this is when I want you to start recording. So I made it so that the keyboard shortcut to do that, and then um, the keyboard shortcut for starting the title, because you can do that from the game, are the same. Um, I'm pretty sure I made a little trickier than that. So um, in Word by Word, you just have to press T, and it presses the trailer. Um, I think I made it so that OBS is listening for, like, Control shift t or something. But that was fine because I, uh, sorry, now I'm speaking over my music again. And I don't think it, you can, you can skip it. Uh, does it go back though? Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> I couldn't remember. Um, so I made it so, you know, control shift. So, so basically, because I wanted to be timed, I didn't, again, 
zero video editing. I didn't even want to trust myself to trim stuff off of the start or the end or anything, right? I wanted to have the cursor off on the other monitor, press the keys, have the video instantly start recording and playing the trailer, and then I could stop it when I wanted by using the mouse <laughs> over on OBS on the other monitor to, to stop recording. So again, like in some ways, this is really dumb. This is like the dumbest thing I could have done, right? Um, but that's okay. I mean, I think that's the other point is that that's okay. You can publish a game on Steam and be dumb. You can, you can, you know, leverage your skills as a programmer if those are the skills you've got to make a trailer. Um, yeah, so I don't know. That's all I wanted to say. Just a little peek behind the curtains, as they say. There's even curtains in the screenshot to see how you might do something so silly. Um, and maybe a heads up if you're thinking of publishing on Steam, you need a trailer. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you're going to make a trailer anyway. I mean, I, it's probably good that Steam requires it. I mean, no question you should have a trailer. Ooh, something else funny, though. Steam, um, I had a screenshot with some UI, and Steam was like, no, you may not have a screenshot that shows UI. That's not allowed. And I'm very disappointed by that rule because I've looked at, like, um, ARPGs, like looking for, like, a Diablo-like. And one of the things I want to see is what does the inventory and like management look like? What does it look like when I'm leveling up spells? Like I want to see that UI. So I'm kind of disappointed that Steam says, no, you can't post screenshots of UI. I think that's nonsense. The UI is part of the game in games like that, right? In, in some games it is. Here, I don't know. Sure, maybe not. Um, so anyway, I threw together this screenshot too. It, it's hard to do screenshots of this game because it's a puzzle game. Um, and unlike something like The Witness, uh, you know, where you can just take a picture of the beautiful world, you're good to go. Like, everything you look at is the puzzle, and either I can show blank grids, which is boring, right? Like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird to show screenshots of the game. Uh, so anyway, I just made sure to put spoilers. Played a game against the computer, and as you could see, I destroyed the computer. The computer is really dumb. Well, okay, also, I made all the puzzles, so it's really easy for me to win. Um, it's not a very interesting game to play when you've, when you've made the game. I mean, it still is. It's fun, but... I figure out the puzzles very quickly and the computer is no challenge. Um, and also I shouldn't play against any of my friends, which is too bad. I've made a game I can't play against people because, I don't know, I, I, I remember what the puzzles are very quickly. Um, even though there's like 300 something of them. Anyway, yeah, coming soon still. Um, so anyway, I don't know, sorry, I've rambled long enough. That, that was it. Just, you can program, you can rig up some hotkeys, you can do funny stuff and you can make a, you can make whatever, so. That's all. That's all this video is. I'm going to stop talking because I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to make another little video about a funny thing from work. Um, so uh, that'll come out probably in a... I'll probably schedule it. I think I'm going to record it directly after this one. More peeks behind the curtains. All right. Anyway, thanks. Hope this was interesting. Goodbye.